there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. The body snatcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to play. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool process. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Good punch lands. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Beautiful leg kick throw. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Just 
Just misses there with the left. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. And they separate. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Big kick land. Right under the elbow, providing the land. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Went for the inside leg kick. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, beautiful hook there. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Straight punch lands. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh! Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the top. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice punch there. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. The center line slips the punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with this. Single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Wow! There it is! It's over! Oh! Woo! Oh my goodness, what a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 26 seconds of round number two. Going to win.
The Body Snatcher. Well, we congratulate him on